Right now, the heat is not scaring off too many shoppers. They're battling long lines and congested malls, too, all to save a little bit of money. We are in the middle of tax-free weekend. Good evening. I'm Katherine Stolp. Thanks for joining us. Well, I'm not brave enough for those crowds, and it may not seem like shoppers are saving a lot, about 8% per dollar, but it adds up, especially when you buy those big-ticket items. KITV's Cassie Gallo is live at the Round Rock Premium Outlet Malls. And, Cash, you're uh, surviving so far out there, right? Surviving and doing well, Catherine. Shoppers are out in full swing. There's a huge crowd out here at the outlet mall. The parking lot's packed. Plenty of people are taking advantage of saving some cash. Now, through the weekend, Texas shoppers don't have to pay state or local taxes on most back to school supplies and clothes. Eligible items must be $100 or less. State officials estimate shoppers will save more than 74 million in taxes over the weekend. The tax break is also available online for shopping as well. And some smart shoppers we caught up with today say a good way to not let yourself get carried away over the weekend is to make a list, create a budget, and then of course save some money. We came in under budget and got more than we came in for, so that's great. A tax-free holiday, of course, uh, moved up in the month, and I think everybody is pleased with that because they like to get their shopping done early. And be sure to check with your local stores. Many retailers are offering additional sales and extending their hours to boost a business. And coming up at 10, we'll break down the impact this tax-free weekend is expected to have on the Central Texas economy. For now, live in Round Rock, Cassie Gallo, KI TV News.